Hello and welcome to another Nihongo Gamer video. We're playing Guilty Gear XR Rev 2. And the reason it's so exciting is because it's the next game in a long list of games that are getting rollback netcode updates, which means you can play people pretty far away and it will still feel like they are kind of right sitting right next to you playing the game. Today we have with us, to help me learn a bit more about Guilty Gear, Caliber. Hello there. Although Caliber, is, it's not like his job to teach Guilty Gear or anything, I would say that between the two of us, Caliber is the one that actually likes Guilty Gear. <laughs> Let Sorry. me just give you, uh, you guys a little bit of background on how much Guilty Gear I've played. I've streamed this game maybe two or three times, and I've tried to learn it myself off, off stream a couple times, but the truth is, because I don't go to an offline event to play this, like a, a locals, I just don't find, like, I get excited about playing it. But now that it's getting this rollback net, uh, netcode update, I feel like it's a good opportunity to learn a bit more about it. So, that's where I'm at. And Cal did play a lot of XR while waiting for Strive to come out. And so I think, Calibur, you still play Strive now, right? Yes, yes, I, yeah, still play Strive as my main game, yep. So, let's jump straight in. I'm going to go into the main screen now. Caliber, what do you think I should know before we get started? Well, I guess the first thing to do is like know how to move around. Like when you first pick up X a game like XR, like you start to walk, right? It's like, yeah. I'm really slow. It's really like, slow. You play, <laughs> like you play a game like Street Fighter, it's like, oh, my walk speed's pretty good, you know? And you yeah. got the dash like that. But then you play like this is like, what the heck? You find out much later that like dashing is much more efficient. Oh, okay. So learning able to like, like do like run up and like that, that's like you're really your main form of running right right okay so presumably there's there yeah. a lot of air dashing in neutral as well guilty gear is a game where offense is the most important thing there's a lot of things that benefit if you do like tension meter so running forward gets your <sighs> tension meter like just sitting back and doing nothing you get nothing you also get negative so you see i have danger on my right yeah i see like, that thing, negative, penalty, negative yeah. penalty yeah so like you want to avoid that right right so, so the, the game just kind of promotes aggressive play exactly think of it like jousting <clears throat> Like jousting. Like, basically, how is it, you and I are basically like we're, we're, like, like we're gonna run at each other and we're gonna do something, you know? Like, okay. like right. yeah, obviously. And then obviously, okay. once that kind of tension, hey, um, starts, yeah. then we start to play around that kind of offense. Like, okay, okay, it's like he's gonna do this. Okay, maybe I'll back off that one sec. But you can't right. obviously resort to one thing all the time. You want to mix it up. So that's how this game kind of feels. So as a start, so I guess for your character, you want to find out what your longest buttons are and you just want to like just dash and just try to, try to just touch me like swing at me and like like that, right? Yeah, right. Like, oh, that's pretty good, right? It's all that. So that's kind of like, oh yeah, you control the space. You, you have really long reach, which is really good for you. For beginners who've never played the game before, I've got five <sighs> buttons available to me. I've got a kick button, punch button, slash, heavy slash, and dust so like a complicated button but when you when you press down and dash dust you get you get a sweep my buttons it seems compared to yours mine mine are like dulcim <laughs> i've got, got like <laughs> stre right? i've got stretchy limbs <laughs> look at this this is like oh the whole screen <laughs> exactly right so i'm like so what, what, what like, yeah exactly <laughs> this is how like it starts off right we like now that i know that you know you, you kind of like control that field i have to like be able to play around it right and, like, yeah yeah but I first see. you gotta like do it first to represent that Threat, right. So I'm, yeah. I'm poking you. Poking you, yeah, poking, right? So once I start becoming a little bit more defensive, it's like, oh, he's, he's just, I'm waiting for you to throw out a button, right? Yeah. So maybe maybe I'll come after you throw the button, but then if I'm just waiting too long, you can start doing other things like dashing up and oh, okay. then trying to hit me or, or doing that, yeah. Right, but, okay. I've also got projectiles. Oh, yes. For your general game plan is like, you, you, you want to use those projectiles and you're trying to force me to jump at you. So uh -huh. if I start jumping at you, you want to like be able to anti-air me. So basically, it's Street oh, Fighter okay. style, you know, like... Alright, so I'm, I'm kind of Ryu, of, okay, that's that's Kind of cool. like, yeah, you control way more space, you know, like, at this distance, because as Soul, yeah. I can't do shit. Ah, <laughs> uh, right. Like, you know, I can't do anything, like, in this range. I can't hit you, like, I don't have any ranges. I have moves like this, but, like, see, I try to go for a move like this, right? Ah. Uh. But even, even your projectile beats that, so, like... <laughs> Just putting that out there, like, is like, oh man, I can't do shit. That forces me to dash, air dash at you, right? And then that's when you have to start your anti-airing. I think the easiest one is six, 
your forward P, forward punch. Yeah, anyone who doesn't know numbered you... pad notation, I'll put that on the screen now. But yeah, yeah, there you uh, go. See, see, I, I tried, to, I tried to go we'll in. Be here. using that today. There are so many characters, and mm -hmm. I think if you look at this roster and there's still not a character that you're interested in, there's probably not mm -hmm. a game for you <laughs> because mm -hmm. they've, they've covered every single thing here. We've got the uh, cowboy bebop protagonist, the sword art <laughs> online protagonist, like a blind vampire dude with a with, I don't know, some Evangelion hiding behind him. A man in a bed? <laughs> if you can't find a character that you like, then I don't know, there's there's no game out there mm -hmm. for you. Yeah. Famously, Maximilian says in one of his videos, and let's face it, everyone has seen this video, he says, just choose someone that you think looks cool. I kind of agree sometimes, but does that count in Guilty Gear um... XR? <laughs> I would say in general, like for any fighting game, that's kind of like the go-to advice because at the end of the day, it's like you want the character that could give you motivation to keep playing the game, right? Like right. If you choose an easy character and then, but you get bored and then maybe this is like your first impression of the game. So it's like, eh, maybe I don't like this game anymore. Drop it for a few years and not come back until right. a long but time. What yeah. if you choose someone that you like that looks really, really interesting and they turn out to be the most complicated character yeah, in the game. Yeah, I was game. about to get to that. There are exceptions. I was, I agree to a certain <laughs> point. Okay. But yeah, there are some characters where it's like, a, you're just going to climb a mountain at the very start. Um, exactly. So, oh, for example, which characters would you suggest maybe thinking twice before? <laughs> if uh, you're, definitely if you're Zato. Beginning. Like most, like every puppet character, it doesn't matter what game it is, definitely might want to like think twice like unless you really like Zato or his voice actor I don't know something about him or if you really need to like work hard like that's the kind of the characters okay and, and the for. puppet character I've never played him before but do you actually control both at the same time yes you do yes oh my exactly. lord it's it's crazy <laughs> um, what about Bedman I've never tried this character but he looks oh yeah Bedman Bedman definitely is probably a tricky one because he's got very unique um play style like re like rewinding and stuff it's it's kind of like really really um tricky to get your head around what did you say did you say rewinding Rewind. like yeah like like a um, vhs yeah like basically time control i don't know it's like <laughs> what are you talking he plays, about he plays this yeah you play we're talking this, about like, fighting old... games why are you talking about vhs <laughs> well that's guilty gear okay i, I don't <laughs> make the rules <laughs> usually in a game like street fighter you would choose ryu i say that's actually a pretty good start um mm -hmm. to learn street fighter yeah, but like... would you say in this game that it it makes sense to start with Soul Bad Guy or Kai. Yeah, I think those two are definitely like they are kind of like two coin, two two. Was it? What's the phrase? Two, two sides. sides of the same of the same coin. Kind okay. Of thing. Okay. And that coin is a very beginner friendly character. Like um, mm -hmm. you got Kai, who is a very traditional um, Shoto esque character with a decent with a normal projectile and a DP and all that stuff. Soul Soul yeah is a little bit more of an aggressive style that's kind of more to how Guilty Gear kind of the vibe of Guilty Gear. That's not to say that Kai doesn't thrive in this game. He does have his like shenanigans and stuff. Okay, in a way <laughs> is Kai kind of good for people who are coming from other fighting games and need a I way think, in. Yeah, I would say so. Either way, it really doesn't really matter because both right. characters do play quite well at, for beginners so you know it's it really just comes down to your personal preference i like raven because when i watched it was 2017 which is when i was first getting into like fighting games i think it's the last time they did guilty gear xr on the main on the last day at evo and i think kazunoko was playing raven and i was like okay i just want to i just want to do all that stuff that he was doing with these um these orbs <laughs> I also just like him style-wise. He kind of reminds me of Merkava. He's oh, like yeah, Merkava, he does, yeah. <laughs> which I like, but he's also like Seth, who's got orbs, which I also like. All right, well, I think the next thing we should do is play like a random match. So no let's problem, just yeah. scramble yeah. around and see what right. I need to know or what you think like I'm not okay. really having access to. I'm going to I'm going to I'm just going to press this one button. This it's S. Just going to slash you with this. Now I'm going to press other buttons now. Oh, oh okay. Ooh. I'm going to throw throw this at you. I feel like when I played Strive or some game where I played Kai, I think I used to do this to you. I used to jump in the air and throw projectiles a lot. Okay, I'm now learning that my slash and heavy slash buttons are pretty... I don't want to say slow, but they're uh, not very fast. <laughs> mm, yeah, exactly. I, one of the weaknesses of long-range characters is like the startup. Yeah, you, you basically own this side of this like this distance, but once I get in, like that's my time to shine. I see. Yeah. Like... <laughs> Oh, oh, hello. <laughs> okay. 
Raw super. That's the only way I know how to do mm -hmm. super moves. Yeah, I guess when you're when you're, when you're learning this game, like learn just spending your meter is more important. Like it doesn't matter. Uh... Like, if, like if you spend it well, just spending it is more important than not using it at all. Mm. Because yeah, as you know, like every at the end of every round, well, this is training mode, but at the end of every, every round, it'll reset to zero. So definitely, um, utilize your meter. Which is part of the whole being aggressive kind of thing. Like it doesn't have to be flashy, oh. but like when you're first beginning the game, like just getting the knockdown is good enough. Like ah. don't don't have to like think, oh, I gotta play like everyone else plays, you know. But they've been playing for ten years straight, so uh, <laughs> on mm. this, all you really need to do is just knock them down, get on top of them, hit them again. That's really it. <laughs> <laughs> hit them again. Then, I like that. Oh uh, yeah. Exactly. Oh oh oh. <laughs> oh okay. Burst. How do you do burst again? It's okay. So burst is dust and any attack. So dust I just and do. Dust and like heavy slash. And how many times can you do it? I see the word burst in the corner. Oh, okay. So um, you see the burst. So you you've used your burst already. But yeah, burst is a very good way to um break out of a combo. combo. I want to try the burst. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. There you go. There. Okay. Nice. So, dust and any other button. Dust and any button. Yeah. Oh no! Damn you. <laughs> oh, that was a that was um that's a different that was move. shield. Yeah. So this is um heavy slash and any other button. Yeah. It takes oh. a bit. Yeah. What does it do? It's like a defensive mechanic. Like basically, I go into this weird stun thing where you can probably punish me. Like yeah, like that, right? Yeah, yeah, rejected. yeah. Rejected. Oh, so you, you hit. Rejected. You tried to hit me, but I was in this like weird mode. So it says rejected, and then what? I get to hit you back. You get to hit me back, basically. Okay. Yeah, it's it's kind of like a yeah. It's like like a focus attack. When that's got that green shield up, is that faultless defense? Yes, that's faultless defense. So if you okay. hold back or down back and then press down like back. two buttons, you can do I, crouching as well. You can do it in the air. You can do the air. Basically, well. doing doing faultless defense will push me away when I'm doing a block string. So it's like yeah. Okay. So it's very helpful for that kind of thing. Are there any situations of it like under night where you can bait faultless defense out and it's actually like a bad thing? Um, when when doing faultless defense, usually um they can't jump. Oh. So basically, you can f basically go for a throw. It's, it's oh, like, right. they're, they're more likely. They're more. They're more likely. It's not like impossible. I mean, right. A hundred are guaranteed, but um, usually they're more likely to get hit by throws because they've committed to a faultless defense. Right. Uh, one more thing. Um, yeah. So you know when you dash and you uh, block after. Yeah. You kind of like there's this like little moment of pausing, right? Oh. So using faultless defense does that like basically lets you kind of <gasps> like. Stop factor. Oh. So that's called FD breaking. It really, it's basically to um, kind of like bait the opponent for throwing out a button. Okay. Yeah. yeah I, I did see this in the um, the mission mode, but you know, like mission modes. This is this is one of the reasons why we're doing this video today, guys. Is because if you go through the mission mode in order, you like learn it, and then you move on. You learn it, and then you move on. But you don't retain any of it because mm -hmm. it's just like homework. You just you just like fill out the blanks and then just move on. But then when it's actually like said to you in the middle of like a training session like this, it's like, oh, the context is there. It actually that makes a bit more, well, it's easy to remember. So this reminds me of Grand Blue Fantasy Versus, which we, we, oh, you yeah. know is kind of in the news today for getting rollback netcode. But in Grand Blue, it's like this. You, it takes a minute to, to stop, doesn't it, before you? Yes. Yeah. But it doesn't have a feature like FD breaking, does it? Um, normally what some people do in um, Grand Blue is they'll do the spot dodge. Oh. So kind of like do that, but that, that's very risky because, you know, it does have like, um, it's punishable. So if you've got the gauge, then you can afford to do this and stay Basically. safer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. One step at a time, you know, you don't need to master it now. It's just knowing that it's there is... Right, like, yeah. Mm, yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah, it's an option. And then so I that's Raven. Like, yeah, your yeah. game plan is um, when you knock me down, you want to be able to do that ball on the ball. I'll do a knockdown first. Yeah, yeah, and then there you go. And then, like, I have to take the mix. Uh, okay, hello. so if you block. Yes, 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 yes. That, that, that were one, you, that one, were that you trying to block? Yeah, I was blocking. So there's so many things that could happen. So you actually kind of have to play real rock, yeah. paper, scissors at that point. This is kind of like your win condition, right? So every character has one. Uh, mine's similar is to get you in the corner too and then start doing mix like high low mixes but yours is a little bit more stronger because you have the ball right it feels like raven is a character that people would want to play if they Ooh. enjoy thinking a lot <laughs> like once you like once you know what raven's tools are it's like oh how do i use this to like give myself an advantage like that's mm. basically you've you've got the game down like now you have to do is like work on combos but like that's once you've started understanding how the flow of the match is. But like, once you realize it's like, oh yeah, I can control him if I use projectiles. I can, you know, yeah, just get in and stuff with the flying and the long arms and stuff and then <laughs> knock him down and then keep doing pressure. And then Stretching I'm oh, in the corner, yeah, in the corner. And then now you start doing like, oh, now I can like 
do the Yoki oh, Ball. I do, yeah, I should do the knockdown first. The important thing is just to like, just learn how to knock them down, you know. <laughs> like like that, right? And then right, ah, uh, like right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then I have to deal with whatever comes next. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Although one thing you have to be careful in Guilty Gear games is that throws are one frame. Oh. So what that means is if if I knock you down and then right, go for right. an Oki like like in Street Fighter, uh -huh, like you know, uh -huh. you, usually you'd be on top of your opponent, like right close, like as close as possible, right? Yeah. Like you never want to do this in Guilty Gear. Oh, because I can throw you when I wake yeah. up. Exactly. So even if I go for a perfect meaty, like if mm -hmm. my move, if I hit you the moment you get up, and if you go for a throw, your throw will win because it's frame one. <laughs> right. Okay. Someone did write in the chat. Try two one four K, and I have tried this move before, but I don't know. I don't know all the properties of it, but it's this one. Ah oh, so yes. I can, I can oh, absorb yeah. attacks, and I think this builds up. Whoa. That builds yeah. up my my little happy that gauge little, there in the that corner. Card on the bottom. Yeah. Right. So I a bunch of my moves gain different properties when that gauge is red. Hmm. For example, okay. I, I think if I do this, I can actually oh. combo you oh, after yes. it. Oh, yes, that's true. Yeah, uh, you but get I'm... better, your moves become way stronger. Right. That is true. But only if I've got that red gauge. Yeah. When you're doing the, um, the, the stance, like you can actually um, cancel into your super. Oh, right, right, right. And then yeah, and then basically, if you once you see me attack, you can basically get a <laughs> guaranteed. Well, that's free, punish. yeah, yeah, because I'll just be watching you. I'll just be watching you sitting there doing that attack, and I'll just yeah. be. I could just yeah, yeah. go into this. That's amazing. Thank you for yeah. reminding me. Plus, Good. plus, yeah, you when you when you're getting hit during that stance, you gain a lot of tension, so it's very likely that you'll have meter for super, which is right. And I think also insane. my attacks. I think my attacks actually do more damage if I've got my yeah. my red gauge building up because so I'm mm -hmm. building up tension and I'm building up this then, red yeah. gauge. Oh wow. Oh okay. Ooh. Oh you <laughs> whoa. You like jumped and then you jumped again. <laughs> yeah you have double jumps in this game yeah. Right. I, think, I don't know if Raven does it maybe. I think so. Uh yes he does. Oh he yeah does. yeah. Oh, 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 oh uh <laughs> <laughs> No <laughs> <laughs> You said it would happen. Okay. Oh, whoa! Runs behind and then finishes with a uh, I got a great beat up right? yeah. I tell you what, after after this explanation, like some of the explanations you've given me today, I definitely feel like I can get into it more. I feel like uh, playing this on your own and only doing the mission modes doesn't give you an idea of what what's actually going to happen mm -hmm. in a, in a, you know, yeah. in gameplay. Yeah. We could do arcade style where it's like first to three rounds. Cool. What, is that what they're doing in the arcades? Yeah, yeah, they give you, yeah. Up That's terrifying. Because you're because you're putting in like 100 yen coin. <laughs> oh, <laughs> each time each set is 100 yen. Yeah. How much is this, this game on Steam? I think it's like 20 bucks, right? It's 50 percent off right now. Last time I yeah. checked. Ah, the grappler has arrived. Hey, grappler, let's go. <laughs> banned. <laughs> not not really. Not really. You're not banned. Stay. Oh, one thing I didn't tell you is um. Yellow Roman cancels. You know when you um, do a what projectile. What is a yellow Roman cancel? When you do a attack and then you um, immediately do a Roman cancel, like you can basically cancel the startup of the move. Pra practical terms. Um, when you do a projectile and then immediately um, you gotta do it a little bit faster. Okay. But, yeah. Once oh, you do, what? you can actually start. Yeah. Move with your projectile. Oh. What is nice, the range nice. on this move? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's playing patience. Oh, playing patience. Oh, oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> that was close. That was really close. Oof, this is tough. You're gonna have to do something. Okay. 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 There we go. I'll go. Yeah. Yeah. Get in some. Gotta get in <gasps> somehow. Yeah. Oh. 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 oh no! What? Oh, we got you. No. <sighs> I thought. I thought if I if I jump in and jump out, surely I'll be at a safe <laughs> distance. But no. That. Grab goes from a mile away. What? I just love the look of this game. It's so weird because, like, I know that Strive is technically better, but I just. I don't know, it's so vibrant, this game. Help, I'm dying. No! That was cool. It was good to get some, um, some dizzy experience. So this is May. This is a character who's also in Strive. Sadly, Raven's not in Strive. Oh, by the way, this is 184 ping, and oh. I didn't even notice until looking at the number. <laughs> I think that's a how testament. Yeah, that's that's a testament to how good rollback can be. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What is that? <laughs> Love when you see something new in a fighting game. 
And the, all you can think is, uh-oh. Uh-oh, here comes the combo. Oh, yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, Got you did him. it. <laughs> hey, we're learning. Leveling up, baby. Yeah. All right, now do it again. <laughs> <laughs> do, not do it again. <laughs> oh, person. Ah, uh, help. Oh, oh, I'm, oh, I blocked it. I blocked the dive kick. Ah, <laughs> uh, fighting for his life. Yes. Oh, oh try to throw me down. Ah. Oh, the jump P. That's not how you use chopsticks, buddy. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> Guess what you can do when you do like the the flying attack? You can probably Roman cancel to make the combo easier. Oh, nice! What a when bait. I fly in. <laughs> yeah, that was baity. Um, fly in to do what? Like, oh, you he's know not dead. How you how, how you drop your combo when you do the when the um, gliding? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So maybe if you RC, it'll make it easier to get the combo. Uh, maybe. I think if you do the that long range scratchy move, you can probably um, Roman cancel and just keep doing it again, and then just <laughs> run in and attack him again. Okay. Yeah. Probably yeah, the like, scratch. Yeah, the scratch is Roman cancel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, I see. I see. Oh, nice gold burst. Can you tell me what gold burst is? And oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So like, when you burst, it's either in two scenarios: when you're under attack, or right. when, like, you're not. When you're not, it's a gold burst, and if the opponent gets hit, you get one your tension meter filled to the max. So it's really good. Oh um, wow! Because yeah, I didn't notice there was like, where, where did all that gauge come from? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. If you burst um, when you're like under taking damage, or you know on the ground, or in defensive position, like it's mm -hmm. a blue burst, and all it does is just knocks away the opponent, and you get a little bit of burst back if you do hit the opponent in the blue burst. Air throw. Oh, about that. air throws. That's we good. got air throws in here. Does everyone have an air throw in this game? Yes, yes. So, like... Yeah. What does the exclamation mark mean? Do you know? Oh, right. Oh, so, if, yeah. If it's pointing... Uh, if the triangle is pointing up, that was an overhead. And you were just blocking low. Right, And then if okay. you get... If, it's, if it's the triangle is pointing down, it was a low, but you were standing. If the triangle is pointing down. They couldn't have just made it a different color or something? Uh... <laughs> Yeah, it's a little bit confusing at first, but then once you understand, it's like, oh yeah, okay. Oh, oh my god! Yeah, I remember the <laughs> <What> thing! The <laughs> okay, that was kind of crazy. <laughs> <laughs> ah! I'm so overwhelmed that the only thing I can think to do is just mash. If I mash, something good will happen. If I don't, nothing will happen. So therefore, like, I have to, like, mashing is better. There's no incentive to do anything else. But like, just trying to tell yourself, oh, if I block, and just this good thing will happen. If I what? If you block, as in like if you what what don't, what is that that mash. word? What was that word that starts with B? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I feel like I've heard it before, but what is it? <laughs> Help! Oh okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, 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 oh. Watch out! Watch out! Uh, uh. Watch out! Oh no! He just <laughs> <laughs> did he kill himself? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He thought was all the damage on himself. Is that even possible? <laughs> this character's crazy. Uh, yeah. Can't tell you how many times that I've won against the Faust because they killed themselves. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> like yeah, they get hit by their bomb or something at the That's very end. That's so funny. <gasps> oh, okay, oh, okay, oh, that, okay. More, okay. more. bomb. Watch out for the bomb. <laughs> I don't think you'd have blocked that. <laughs> he was on the pogo stick. <laughs> GG's. So thank you everyone for watching. This is my, <laughs> it's not my first time playing Guilty Gear Rev 2, but it's my first time really trying to understand it, knowing that there's a future for the game. There's always been uh, a scene for this game, but as you know, playing in Japan, and most of the people I want to play with are not in Japan, having a game with rollback netcode, that's really important to me. And now that we've got rollback netcode, I'm able to also probably more easily find matches with people who want to practice with me so I'm really excited about learning more about this game hopefully you learned a lot about the game from today's video and thanks caliber for the teaching because otherwise I would have been floundering this would have taken eight times longer subscribe to caliber mm -hmm. and no problem yeah yeah check him out on Twitter anything you want to say right. yeah man let's enjoy fighting games this is a really really great time for fighting games right now <laughs> you can say that again if you want to see more stuff like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel, comment below, and like it if you haven't. Uh, well, if you, yeah, if you haven't done so already. And I will see you all in the next Nihongo Gamer video, and hopefully more Guilty Gear. Uh, not Strive, Guilty Gear XR. <laughs> what game are we playing?